Good afternoon, gamers. I didn't know I was in here before I even summoned the poot, man. Hello, folks. Uh, you know, I... I've been trying to get a chance to stream for a couple weeks, and I've not gotten one. Um, but I've been really wanting to. I don't have long today, but I have enough time to play a couple of rounds of, th of Thips 2. And, uh, yeah. Figure I'll play, play a bit. And, um, yeah. Just kind of have a fun casual stream. Uh, I am... Kind of both. I'm playing on a PS3, so that's technically emulation, but it's like official emulation, anyways. Uh, and this is a backwards compatible PS3, so I think it might be somewhat based on the PS2 hardware. I don't know. I honestly don't know how it works on. Uh... I forgot you could create a skater in Thips too. Or is this not create a skater? This is like. Uh... Oh no, you can. I think this isn't in 2x, unless I'm crazy. So, uh, yeah, as per the description, this is actually my first time playing, um, Thips 2 on, uh, any- on the PS1. I've played it on the Xbox, the Dreamcast, and the 64. I have a CECH B01, so it's the- it's the launch model, but it's not, um, it's not the fancy one with the Wi-Fi, which doesn't matter these days, because, like, I've put a new drive in it, or it has a new drive in it. And, uh... I use it wired anyways. We're not gonna talk about how disastrously like, dirty my room is. We're not gonna talk about how, uh... long it's been since I streamed. Oh god. Random fucking... Wait, can you not be a girl? Can you only be void in this game? It sucks. Okay. In that case, I might just play a pro. That's fine. I don't have a career. What do you mean, continue the career? Oh, you know what? I think the person that owned this PS3 before me, uh... Played Pro Pro Skater 2 on here. Um... Yeah, I've been playing this game, like, recently on, uh, on Dreamcast, and also a lot of 2X in the last couple months, so... I feel like I always play Kareem. I'm not gonna play Kareem. I just played Kostin on Dreamcast. Maybe that's Goofy in the roster? Oh, whoever- yeah. Whoever, uh, played this before me actually did finish it, I guess. Um, this is my first time playing the PS1 copy. I guess my only Goofy options are Tony Hawk and, uh... Oh, Steve. Okay. Sure. 
Sure. Never played as him before. Do not know his tricks. It's okay. Oh man, the menus are so slow compared to every other version of the game. Alright, hang 10, that's uh, right up. Up left, we're gonna make that down left. No, no, we're not, it's fine. Up left and then uh, right left. Circle, cool. Let's see if I can pull them off. I find it kind of hard to nail special tricks in the OG uh, Pro Skater 2. Evex is much easier in my opinion. Okay. So as like I said, I know the levels pretty well, just because I've been playing a lot of the other versions recently. Um, but again, it's going to be weird playing it on PS1. It's going to feel different because of the frame rate and all that. Oh, and my controller is not in analog mode. Let's try this right over. <laughs> oh, I got the S. Despite being, like, alt-tabbed out, I got the S. Oh, fucking world. I can typically knock out a uh, warehouse in one go. Typically. I don't do the cash uh, icon goals though. Those are tedious as shit. So I guess you don't really count that, but... This fucking hang time gap doesn't work half the time, man. Yeah. Oh yeah, I missed the, uh, the opening area, uh, wings. And I can't get this die to go straight at the fucking... There we go. The tape will have to be next time, I think. No, wings are from next time. I can maybe get the tape if I go hurry. Oh, no, I can't. <laughs> I thought I could do everything. Yeah, I, I know why it doesn't, though, because, like, these games don't have a concept of, like, a top menu on the system. They probably should have made it so it, like, inputted start, but then if you paused, pressing the button would, like, unpause the game, so. Probably for the best that it doesn't, honestly. Obnoxious. I usually play with D-pad for like the actual tricks, but like for steering around on the ground, I prefer the stick. I didn't know I could open that by like not grinding. I thought I had to grind the grind the propeller. I guess not.
Did I get all the wings? I thought I did. Tape. I think I just need the score now. Score. Cool. I think I got all the other wings. My brain might have broken. No, I did. Okay. I'm gonna see how far we can get in the game tonight. Or this afternoon before I have to leave. Only got a couple hours, but, uh... Meet Peggy at 5 p.m. Alright, so school two I cannot do in one go, but I'm gonna do what I can. I'm gonna do the roll call rails. I'm not even bother with the hall passes because I have to like go back to the top to get that one. Wait, is that kicker there in the other versions? I don't think it is. I swear to god that kicker is not in any other version of the game. Got to kick flip it. I like school 2, however, I feel like so much of it is just based on traversal and not like, you know, challenges. So it's like, hey, you need to get all around the school in all these different directions in this period of time. And you have to like wall grind these like wall ride these uh these bells that are in random fucking spots and you have to get all the hall passes for different spots and it's just like I know that's kinda how always the how all this game is, but if it just seems way more arbitrary here because they're not like actual skating challenges to get those things. God for iframes. Come on. Okay, we're good. The hall passes. Do a kick flip, I'm going to shoot you. For legal reasons, that's a joke. So did I not get the hall pass because I fell through it? That's kind of sucks. Yeah. Hi, Jared. Oh, come on, video game. Pro Skater 2 feels so weird to come back to after playing Underground so many times. It's just so much like... Turn this up a little bit. Thank you, Matt. Uh, it's just so much more picky about like when you can press the grind button. Alright, is my volume level good now? I don't want to make it too overbearing. It's hard to judge with my headphones on. Do a melon. There we go. That's a method. My bad. That's Dendy. That's steelfish. That's a tail grab. How the fuck do you melon again?
Is Madonna two directions in this game? Was there not a melon in this game? Am I, am I on drugs? I might be on drugs. I am. I am from Florida, after all, so like, it's not the most shocking thing I could have told you about myself. Okay. Forgot there's a fucking spot where you have to roll down that ramp. I am. Wait, that's not in the other versions, is it? Am I... Am I crazy? Or is like, uh, is 2x like, changing a lot of these things? Alright, I'm deceased. I don't... Okay, any special to do that? I'm doing alright, I just woke up and had the urge to stream a little bit. Didn't know what to stream, so uh, my default video game when I don't know what to do recently has been Pro Skater 2. Or just skate like a pro, however I can I can barely land to fucking shove it, so I'm not gonna be able to do that in real life. So this'll this will do. This will this will suffice. Thoughts on the remaster? It's a great remaster. It's uh it's really a remake, honestly. It's not it's not the same as the OGs by any means, but that's not necessarily a bad thing. I don't think it needed to be. Yes. Give me the fucking tape. Yes. Um, yeah, no, it was, it was a really good remaster. Um, I think that it's a shame they're not going on with it. I think there really needed to be an underground remake, <laughs> but that's just my Tony Hawk's underground fan, fangirl speaking. I wonder if the reason I'm having a hard time with this is because, like, this level is a little hard to navigate on low uh, low stats, which I've not upgraded yet. Probably will after after I finish this school up. I mean, I I would love a, a remaster slash remake of the old Underground Need for Speeds as well, but you know, it's kind of funny that there were two of my favorite series, both had a game called Underground in 2003, and both had a sequel called Underground 2 in 2004. Um, and in the case of Underground 2, it goes even deeper because uh, they both have the song No W by Ministry in them, so it's it's a pretty good few songs in Underground 2. There's two, two, two games named Underground 2 in 2004 that both had the same Ministry song on the soundtrack. Pretty gay. I fucking hate the wall rides here. Didn't get there in time. Pro score. Yeah. Oh, I forgot this week's Monica. Don't remind me. Just trying to forget. Uh, yeah. Um, let me quickly just go ahead and set this this six score. I think I just did, I, did, I was just on my screen. I didn't read it. Hundred thousand. Okay. And then we'll go upgrade stats. Yeah, I am not ready to go for Monaco. 
but it's fine. I'll pretend I am. I'll practice for half an hour before the race. I'll get in an early race incident, and then I will uh, spend the race making it up the ground. We are still racing the F1 games, yes. Uh, we have recently had to make the uh, difficult decision to turn off AI, though, because they are so busted that they were breaking. Well, AC, the problem is the multiplayer is so... the way it is. Uh, so... Like, just getting, getting everybody together in a lobby is just fucking impossible. Um, I am still on pad. I have not had money to buy a TV. I have to buy a new TV for my setup because, uh, the mounting solution I've had for, um, for the suit cockpit, one that came with it, uh, it only supports newer TVs, and the racing TV I've been using for the last however many years, uh, is from, like, 2008. So it's, like, the old mounting pattern. Um, I just need to get a couple hundred bucks together and go buy a new TV for it, but I just, uh, have not had that. Uh, I moved, and have, like, some New Year expenses. I had to start my health insurance, and but to have to renew my cars, uh, everything. My new car's, uh, insurance and, uh, title and stuff. So, don't know when it's gonna happen. Hopefully soon, but kind of depends on YouTube does in the next couple months. Whether or not I can uh, afford one in the short term. Okay, I was distracted by a uh, bit chat there and didn't get to do a whole lot of actual special tricks. I need to. Yeah, I'm just gonna save and go ahead and uh, upgrade. Yeah, adulting is not fun. I I will say though, like I don't know who Travis is. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna override him. Okay, that's pretty center of the console. Um, uh, I use a 29. G29. Not a perfect wheel by any means, but I'm certainly happy with it for now. Um, it's a decent wheel. It's, um, I think it feels really nice for the money. And, uh, honestly, I, I got hands-on with a Thrustmaster T248 the other day, just because we have one come in at work for trade. And, um, I think I like its software better, but the, um, materials the wheel are made out of are nowhere near as nice as Logitech's, just, like, kind of a crappy vinyl compared to like the somewhat decent vinyl or whatever is on the wheel of the, le uh, the it might be leather on the uh, 29 um, the shifters are plastic they feel nice but they're plastic um, same with the pedals so Logitech just seems way way more solid to me Yeah, so I'm not, I'm not looking at getting that. I just got hands-on with it while I was testing it because uh, it came in on trade at work. Um, I'm not looking to buy it, but it's 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 not a bad wheel. I would say if you, like, want something that's a little more solid in terms of... Um, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, just, like, software. Just, like, the driver's not being a pain in the ass. It's a good bet. But I personally prefer the Logitech build quality. Especially considering I tend to smack my wheel when I'm pressured in. Nice. Yeah, 
Actually, uh, I wonder if there's a way for me to report issues with uh, YouTube's, like, game categories. Because I just, like, noticed while I was setting this up that there is no category on YouTube for Pro Skater 2. You can either do 2x, which isn't, this is this is not that. Or you can do the 1 and 2 remake, which is also not that, so... A little frustrating. Doesn't really matter, I suppose, but... It bothers me. Oh, we got these easy. Yeah, the CD loading is a little slow, especially if you're playing uh, Dreamcast and Xbox and all that other stuff, but, um, honestly. I experienced, and I'm, I'm struggling to remember what it is right now, I've experienced a Game Boy Advance game with a loading screen for the first time the other day. It's like super rare for Game Boy Advance games to have loading screens, like actual loading screens. No! I thought I had it. Nah, close though. <clears throat> yeah, 2x is really good. I, I honestly think that's my preferred way to play Pro Skater 2. For like, a lot of reasons. Come on. Peace! Fuck, man, I'm I'm choking. Ah, uh, dude, just get another Xbox. Uh, like L Lauren, get another Xbox. They're they're so cheap and they're so worth it. My favorite console. Was that my fault? Yes. Am I gonna flip the flip the game off anyways? Yes. Oh, if you kiss the rail, you don't... Am I considering a CRT? I have one. Uh, it's currently on loan to a friend that's using it for, like, uh, Smash tournaments at another store, but, uh... You know, I... As much as I would love to have one hooked up, it's just not really feasible with my setup right now. Um, uh, if I ever get a retro tank, I might look into doing it through that thing, but as it stands, sorry, I just noticed Executioner said hello, I'm sorry, dude, hi, um, if I ever get a retro tank, I would love to, uh, try using it again, but this is my setup with, like, the scalers and then the, um, what's it called, uh, recording setup and all that, it's just a little difficult to work a CRT into that, and, um, I was gonna say. There you go. We can start. Um, my roommates have a projection TV, like a rear projection TV, an old. Uh, I can't actually remember what brand ours is. Um, in our living room. Which is a nice little blast from the past. Looks Xbox stuff looks really nice on it, honestly. Um, though I think the bulb is starting to go. It's getting a little on the dim side.
Oh, that would have been so good if I landed it. I don't even really want CRT filters, that's the thing, is like if I don't have the real look, it's not really worth it. I feel like it's if I'm gonna be playing on a modern display, I want the benefits of the modern display as well as you know the sharp video. If if I'm playing on an old screen, that's when I want the benefits of the old screen. Um And your tricks, Steve! I think I'm also uh, flubbing my fucking inputs a lot because I don't usually. Usually, I keep my specials for characters on the same five combos. Um, means reassigning them. I just didn't feel like doing that today. I've played a bit of, of Tony Hawk on Excellent Kai. I've played Pro Skater 2x3, and I want to say I played four on Kai. Yeah, I did because I remember playing Kong College. Um. I think I played a little bit of Underground as well. I can't remember if I did, honestly. Alright, I think I have a line in here. Uh, but this is here. Yeah, that's fair. Um, well, see, that's the thing, is that you can make it not square pixels um, on a modern TV. I'm not right now, because I'm playing on uh, the PS3, which doesn't do that, but if I was playing on my retro, or my, uh, my frame meister, it would be in proper 4-3 resolution, or aspect ratio. Oh, I was trying to grind and I circled. There we go. We did it, Reddit. Okay, we can move on, finally. There's a CRT glow filter built into, um... What's the app? Uh, a Turark that I like. I use it on Saturn stuff very occasionally, but very, very occasionally these days. Running this like alone. Great start. I don't remember that police car passing in the in the other versions either. Thank <laughs> you. 
Ah, fucked up. Would have been cool though. God damn it. Uh, Brandy, I would love a link to that if you have a uh, if you have Discord. If you get in my server and DM it to me, I'd really appreciate it. I really do love these games. And I like I like playing Thug Pro, but I feel like people that play Thug Pro are all super sweaty, <laughs> so it's kind of hard for me to have like a good game. Yeah, I would love an invite to that. Hey, Red. I'm doing okay. Uh, this is on PS3 on a disc copy, so kind of emulation, kind of not. Whatever you want to consider this situation. That's annoying. I'm doing okay, Red. Just uh, had the urge to stream something. Had a little bit of time before work, because I couldn't fall back asleep. So figured I'd get up and do something semi-productive. We definitely win with that, so I'm just gonna skip the last heat. I'm glad I can keep you busy in the uh, in the meantime, Red. Oh, seven hour gap? Jesus. Something with your time. Thanks, Brandy. I'll check that after after probably tonight when I get home from work actually. Ah, gotcha. There's gunshots in this fucking level. I've never heard those before either. I swear to god, all these little atmospheric details are in no other version of the game. It's just PS1. Granted, I'm most familiar with 2X, which I'm pretty sure does not have them, but... They could be on Dreamcast, and I just haven't heard them because of where I've played the Dreamcast version, but... Remember how to get that one? Oh yes, I do. Okay. I have not played Pro Skater 3 on PS1. I should though. I played it on uh, on 64 very briefly on a stream a few weeks ago. However, I uh, was so tired that I was like falling asleep on stream, so I had to call it. I really wanted to get to airport, but it didn't happen. I'll probably get around to playing it again sometime soon.
I just don't know if it's a topic interesting enough for a whole ass video by itself, but... I don't like New York, we're gonna go straight to Venice. I'm good at this level, but I can't do the VB transfers to save my life. I can remember where they are. I have a really cool line here, but it requires me to actually make the jump back to the top of the fence. Alright, that's fine. I'm just gonna start over. <laughs> that one spray can doesn't have to count. No, I can't fucking... Oh, because I never leveled up my ollie. Okay, you know what? Hold on. Let's do that. KC moment. Hi, Motor Legacy. Wait. There we go. The the narrow landing gap. That one I actually don't. I don't find that one too difficult. That's the only one that, like, it, it, it takes a couple tries sometimes, but like, it's not that hard. Um, I mostly just have trouble remembering where the other three are. Let's see if I can do this this line then. Uh, with Ollie all up. D! Not doing that though. <laughs> Thought I could do it. Oh no, I overshot it. Okay. Maybe it is difficult. <laughs> Turn it up. Bring the noise. Over it, god damn it. Not getting high enough. I can do this in 2x first try all day. This is just, it feels weird to coming back to this. I was holding forward there. Like, I definitely went over that. It's supposed to level out. You may have to. I'm not doing the transfers right now. I'm going for the skate and the spray cans. I might be able to get the skate. I'm definitely not getting the spray cans. No, I'm not gonna skate either. <laughs> Why is your name orange? Uh, I don't know. Hi, Faith. Hi, Juhana. Uh, no, Juhana, I've not. I've decided to be bad at this game. Hi, Faith. Good to see you. Been a bit. Fucking! Get up there! <laughs> Did 
Trihana, you should consider being more attractive. Come on. Y'all, Juhana is a friend of mine. This is a bit. This is how he is. It's fine. He's not being rude. He's not being actually rude. Sign. Whenever. Whenever I'm off stream, I'll threaten to do something unspeakably violent to him, and it'll, it'll even out. Did I seriously just miss the S? I get the fucking jump, and I miss the S. I'm. Mm. Oh yeah, this is also, I think, the only version that you can't clip through that wall. Unless you can and I just haven't been able to do it. You can clip through the fence here. Like, by accident. Yeah, I definitely do the unrealistic lines and tricks and stuff in like the underground games, but like, I really don't have the chops in the older games to do stuff like that. So I feel like I just kind of do somewhat realistic shit. Like, I just really don't know how to pull off the bullshit that I can pull off in Underground in this game. Alright. Ah, <laughs> uh, goodbye. Wish it put you closer where you fell out. Yeah, no, I I like. I'm a bit of a perfectionist when I play Tony Hawk games, like, I, I want to pull off good lines to get the objectives, I don't just want to do them, you know? Like, I, anyone can stumble to get them, but, like, getting them in a satisfying line is, like, way more fun for me, I think. However, I'm just fucking stumbling right now. Okay. I don't know why I'm struggling so much in this one compared to 2x. I'm in the I'm still holding our one. Come on. 
me? No, okay. Fine warp? Be real, I completely forgot, um where all the spray cans were at the end there. I thought I only had two of them and I had three. I probably could have gotten them if I paid more attention, but. Ugh. I feel like Thug 1 is like the sweet spot for me in terms of ridiculous shit versus uh, like realism. Like it has the ridiculous special tricks, but they aren't spawning items out of fucking thin air like they are in Underground 2. You know? have those stray cans I can focus on score. I want to see if I can land that uh, transfer. First time I've ever seen in a racing game, uh, driving a motion type S hands down. It's the worst. If you coated all the wheels in Vaseline. I do it. I can do it. Hello. Thank you, Agent Red. <laughs> uh, you're thinking of um, you're thinking of Chad Muska, and to be fair, I'm pretty sure Chad Muska did that in real life. Like Muska's specials. I'm trying to get the fucking can that's not there. Um, Muska, Muska's specials with, like, the uh, beatbox and the spray can, he did both of those things as far as I know. So, like, it's not completely out of the realm of, uh, realism. And he, does, he does just kind of, like, summon them out of nowhere, but, eh, whatever. We have let Muska get away with worse. <laughs> Um, my opinion on Total Immersion Racing, so that game I've barely played it because, uh, for some reason I had the worst luck. I tried, like, five different Xbox copies of that game and none of them worked. Uh, like, I, I kept buying Xbox copies and my Xbox refused to read all of them. And, like, my disk drive is fine, it reads everything else fine. Um, so I ended up deciding to just not try for a while, and then um, I got a PS2 copy. I've played very little of it. I enjoyed it, but like it's yeah. Wait, that's only one of the. Oh, is the tough is the narrow landing transfer not a VB transfer? Okay. Am 
Why is both directions a no slide? There we go. Oh, it's the second ramp. Okay, I thought it was the tight. I thought the tight landing transfer was the ramp one that I needed to do. This is one of them, isn't it? Of course, I'm not gonna land it, but. There's so many ramps here that I never remember which ones are which. Okay, there's one. I'm just gonna get in the sand so it resets me. Ah. No, I'm I'm probably I'm probably wrong about like about being the middle one. I usually don't bother with VB transfer because how long it takes comparatively. Thug two, one hundred percent. Or sorry, thug one, one hundred percent. My bad. Um. Oh Jesus, that was by the skin of my teeth right there. Oh, that's not the wrong one. <laughs> would I consider reviewing Le Mans 24 hours? I would probably review the uh, Dreamcast version of Test Drive Le Mans. Yeah, I'm not getting the other two, but... Well, at least I know, it's, I, know how, I know it's possible. I know how to do it. Um, Test Drive Le Mans is what I've meant to talk about for a long time. Uh, but, like, it's... It's kind of niche to talk about, like, a really old racing sim like that. It's really hard to get people to watch shit like that. But also, more than that, it's also just hard to, like, figure out compelling things to say about a realistic racing game from 20 years ago. Like, unless it's something like Gran Turismo, which is, like, unprecedented in terms of scale even now, it's just, like... This is a realistic racing game. It's got real race cars from the real WEC whatever year season. It's, uh, yeah, it's like... I should not have gotten that gap. Um... Yeah, I don't- I just don't know what- how I would spin that in an interesting manner. Uh, I guess the way to go about it would probably be to compare it with the other version, because there's the Melbourne House version, and there's the one by fucking Eutechnics. Yeah, Eutechnics did the- the PS2 version. The only interesting way I can think of off top to spin that would be to, like, talk about them being the same game in, like, branding, really, other than the test drive name. I'm pretty sure the, the PC version was also Melbourne House, and that was just Le Mans 24 Hours. That wasn't test drive. So, yeah, I, I don't know. It's something I'd have to explore later. But I've got a lot of stuff I want to talk about first, and I just don't have the bandwidth right now. Um... Y'all probably noticed that I've been kind of AWOL this month. Uh, and that's because, I, you know, things are good now. I've moved. I'm I'm happy. I'm doing well. It's just uh, last year was exhausting and emotionally and physically. And it's just like I'm still kind of recovering from all that. Like, I finally am in a spot where I can stop for a sec and breathe. And that means that I am resting and not doing so much work on video stuff. I've been trying, I just haven't been able to focus because, again, tired. Also, work's been kind of crazy between, like, you know, traveling for holidays and then and then working holidays before that and then after that and then just some stuff at work that's been kind of hard, so. Hey to Brandy, take it easy. Um, so yeah, that's that's why I've not really been putting stuff out lately, and that's why I have like a bit of a backlog of things I want to work on that I haven't gotten to put out yet. There will be come out though. Um, I'm working on something right now that hopefully will be done in the next week or two. Um, and then from there, I'm hoping I can just kind of get my groove back. I did it once. Come on. I think it makes a good handling model. Um, it, it really depends on the context of the game you're creating. I mean, 
if you stick the handling model from one good racing game onto a different good racing game, you're not necessarily going to have a good handling model. You're going to have a handling model that doesn't fit the game that you're stuck it onto. Um, like, I think a perfect example of that is, like, Need for Speed, um, like, 2015. That handling model, I don't hate it, but it's not right for that game's map. Um... That's kind of how I feel about a lot of handling models these days. Um, I think the Unbounds is really good. I, I, I loved how Unbounds feels, and I feel like it works really well for, like, the shape of the map and, like, the, 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 the direct, like, the actual, like, level of the turns and everything, so. Dun, 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 dun. I did it once. I don't know how I fucking did it once, but I did it. I think I need special going into that. I think I'm going in too, too narrowly. I think I need to go in steeper. Or like a from a further right. <sighs> My god, it's so... It, the flip tricks just take so long in this game. Like, it, Ollie North... It's replacing, I think, the impossible. Uh, for this character, for a uh, fucking speed youth. And, uh... It takes so much longer than an impossible to land it. And, like, my go-to whenever I'm ollieing out of something, um, to do a flip trick out of it is impossible, because it's just up and square. Face! Tape. D. I'm gonna die. Bring the noise. I have some money to spend on stats at this point, don't I? Oh yeah. Oh my god, I've never bothered with the skate shop. I did not realize that these fucking boards had different stats to them. Gundam? Holy shit, I didn't know there was a Gundam deck in this game. We're going to unlock uh, next level. I think I can do the transfers.
Dude, what's up with the fucking Ollie North? Like, it's just... Example of a customization that can hit into the racing game. Um, this is gonna be a weird answer. Uh, I really hate racing games that make you change appearance to improve performance, and I don't mean like like legit racing games, like 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 sim racing games or like simcades that make you do that. I'm talking about like the only way to make your car better is to attach stupid things that look like garbage to them. So, like, think arcade racing games. I really hate, like, when, like, Cruisin', for example, makes you put, like, a fucking V8 blower on whatever car you're using to make it look faster, or make, up, make it go faster. Yeah, Wings and Forza are another example. I hate, like, having to put, like, a, in order to adjust downforce on a car in Horizon, an arcade racing game, having to, um fucking put a black wing on there that just looks like garbage. It can't be painted. Damn it. Yeah, that, one of my biggest complaints with Forza is like the content reefs that's been going on for years. They've just not not added new customization visual options for so many cars in like ever. They've been using the same wings since like Forza Horizon, or sorry, Forza Motorsport 5, even worse. Man, this fucking... Okay, I know where the last one is. I can do it. Oh, that's wrong. Okay. I guess I'll do it. Ever considered narrating a book? I'm very flattered that you think I have a calming enough voice for that. <laughs> Please! Yes! Oh, I'm flattered that you think my voice is good enough for that. Thank you. Um, yeah, uh, I've not considered narrating a book, although that, that sounds like actually kind of a fun, a fun thing to do. I have like a very many different variations of my voice, and it's kind of like random which one of them comes out. <laughs> so I'd have to get better at controlling which tone I have. It'd be kind of weird if like I in between sessions I suddenly have a southern drawl in one of the one of the chapters of the book. <laughs> yeah, I gotta understand. I'm from Central Florida, but like a like kind of a rural area of it. Like, it wasn't, like, a rural area that I lived in, but, like, it was a rural county that had, like, a bunch of, like, fucking farms and shit around it. And, um, so people from where I'm from, we have a tendency to go full yeehaw, especially when talking to, uh, like, with me, it comes out when I'm talking to, like, service workers. If I'm in, like, a gas station, like, a restaurant. I get very southern. <laughs> Oh. I've been spent sent. That's surely not okay. Cool. Yeah, Southern Casey's a thing. Uh, it happens. 
It happens especially, I've noticed when I'm at work and I'm like talking to customers, especially like cis dude customers that are like very bro-ish. My, my southern, my southern yeehaw accent comes out, as does occasionally in my like, my hype beast hip hop head voice. It's not like these were conscious things, they're just things I, I don't know, I, I, I talk about as a friends a lot, I feel like it comes from me floating in between friend groups so much, cause like, you know, I have always had like a diverse range of interests, so like, people I hang out with depending on my hobbies were like completely different groups of people. So I hung out with the skaters, I hung out with like the hip hop heads, I hung out with like the fucking um, punks and the scene kids and the gamers and everybody. So it was like very different crowds. Hi Jasmine. So I just had this like very weirdly blended uh, voice. I did not hang out necessarily with the gamers, but I hung out with gays as well before I came out, before I realized. So, there's that. Actually, it's it's funny, like, for people we have like a really funny tendency to, to nab, like to, what's it, magnetize to each other without even realizing it before like we even know. <laughs> so like, going back, you know, I dated this girl when I was in high school. And a couple years ago, she hit me up like, Hey, it's funny, we dated in high school and now we're both lesbians, and we weren't then. And it's just like a very unique situation. Yeah, a whole gender ago. It's a very unique situation to be in, <laughs> where you dated someone when neither one of you were lesbians, and down the line you're both lesbians. <laughs> um, also, like, uh... I realized last night that another girl I had a crush on, like, all through middle and high school is now a lesbian. <laughs> Crazy. It's it's almost like these things are not just something we decide one day. It's just the way we be until we have the words to figure it out how to describe it. I say it's almost like it is like that, but. Oh, come on, video game. Yeah, it's it's really hard. I've kind of, like, almost forgotten to do reverts playing the newer games now because I played so much uh, 2X for, like, a while ago. A while, like, last month, 2X was my, my like, main Tony Hawk game. Um, and I've been playing a lot of it, of uh, 2, recently. So I played 2X for a bit, and then my roommate got... Uh, two on Dreamcast at a con that they just went to. And then I just happened to run across a copy of two on PS1 at work. I guess someone traded in one and two, and I didn't have either one, so I grabbed them. Um... Yeah, the game was so much better with reverts. Yeah, no, I, I, it's definitely something that, uh, it's hard to unlearn. Like, I remember one of the hardest challenges for me in, um, Underground 1 is the Pro Skater Florida Challenge. Um, where you have to, like, do these four sets of tricks. Like, one of them is anything goes, get as many points. And then with each one, it removes one of the game's innovations. So, like, the first one, you can't do reverts. Then you can't manual. <laughs> You can't spine transfer, you can't do reverse, then you can't manual. That's what it is. And then the not manualing one is so hard because it's just the reflex for me to go every time I land in that game.
Oh. There we go. You can kind of cheese these these uh park levels and so you're only gonna fucking half pipe. Yeah, no, it's 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 bizarre that, that manuals were a thing in the first because like Pro Skater 1, I feel like, yeah, there were combos, but, like, combos were so much less of the foundation because of the lack of manuals, but that you could really only do combos, like, in half pipes, like, and it's, like, two or three tricks. It's not, like, these crazy, insane chains that we can do now. This is a different, different era. It's bizarre. Oh, come on. That shouldn't have counted, but it did. It's fine. We're gonna let it happen. How did that be- how could that possibly be an offensive term? Like, that doesn't make any sense. Oh, okay. I was wondering why they called it that up there. Yeah, Ninja was considered too violent, I believe. That was that was the issue there. Sure, let's get a Philly. Oh god. Bad email. Bad email, gamers. Dark day. Wow, they gave us fucking one week's notice. Fuck you, Microsoft. So, Microsoft has sent out an email. Microsoft sent out an email about, about delisting a bunch of stuff. Okay, this is not as bad as I thought it was. Although, holy shit, it's a lot. Alright, so they're, de they're delisting... A bunch of stuff from the Xbox 360 store next week. Oh, fuck you. No. Uh, delisted from the uh, Xbox 360 store next week includes uh, Aegis Wing, Assassin's Creed, a bunch of stuff, Blood of the Werewolf, Blue Dragon, Breakdown, a Call of Duty Advanced Warfare and Ghosts, Castle Crashers, Cloning Clyde, Counter-Strike Go, Dark Souls 1, Darksiders 2, Daytona USA, that sucks, it's the best version of the game, but go buy it now if you haven't done it yet. Uh, Far Cry 2, Final Fight, Double Impact, Iron Brigade, Jeremy McGraw, South Road, Jet Set Radio, uh, Left 4 Dead 1 and 2, 
Limbo, Lost Odyssey, Mass Effect 2, Monopoly Deal, N+, Outpost Kaloki X, Peggle 2, Phantom Breaker Battlegrounds, Prince of Persia, Ruse, Skate 2, Stick of Truth, Spelunky, Splinter Cell Conviction, Star Wars Battlefront, and Kodor 2, um, The Orange Box, The Witcher 2. And some other things I just skipped over because they, they weren't worth mentioning to me, but... So yeah, a bunch of 360 stuff getting DLC next week. Go get it. I'm probably going to need to go grab, um... What's that I saw that I needed to grab? I have Jet Set Radio. I actually think I have everything I care about here. Okay, that's not as bad as I thought it was going to be, though. I saw that email, and I assumed it was going to be, we're shutting down the 360 store next week. That's what I expected it was going to be. So I'm relieved that it's not that. So there's some really good arcade titles on there and stuff that's like just not going to be available anywhere. Like Daytona USA was like the best port of that game. I believe it's the same. However, I don't believe the multiplayer works on PS3 anymore. It does still work on 360. I could be wrong about that. Do a fucking lip trick, bitch. It just sucks for the downloadable only titles, like Epic's Kaluki X. I guess that one's available on a... Uh, what's it called? A... Uh, compilation disc. There we go. I just want to get the lips on that one. I wanted to get the high score, but then I had a hard time getting the lips, so. Oh, let's see if we can get skate. Oh, come on. Let's get at least the bells. Yeah, I, I want to say Daytona was delisted on PS3 before it was on PS... Uh, on uh, Xbox 360. I could be wrong about that, but I want to say that's the case. Yeah, and I'm sure at this point you can probably run the 360 version in Xenia. I haven't tried it, but I'm, I, th I bet you probably could.
Well, yeah, if you buy on a 360, it still works fine, but you have to, like, add the funds to your wallet or whatever. Buying stuff on the one has always been a pain in the ass. It's not a one game. I think these companies would want their money, but they just make it hard to give it to them. What the fuck? Okay, that wasn't a blunt slide, but it's fine, I'll take it. Good info, thank you. Arm. You're running in the cycle below. Come on. Hey Samuel. Sorry, one second. Man, the fucking that that ramp. It's like sometimes it launches, sometimes it doesn't. There's no really way to tell what is gonna happen. Come on. Can we give me money? Thank you. I mean, that's much, much appreciated. I'll help out. Probably put gas in my car with that, so thank you. Ugh, fuck me. Um, I did not finish it, no. That sh yeah, it doesn't count on a screen. Ah! You have to gap to it. You can't roll on trying that. All right. And Freedom Eagles. me man um yeah i feel maybe i'm crazy i feel like i'm grinding or uh, riding slower on grass in this than i am on 2x also that keeps happening yes 
The Wally that shit. Let's go. Yeah, it does. If you have your trucks loose, it simulates like your trucks squeaking. That's pretty funny. Never knew that. It's just like, it's inconsistent. I'm going over it with the same amount of speed and it's just not working. can get up there for sure but then I have to I have to blunt slide it they're running out of special because I'm not doing tricks because I'm trying to get on this thing come on The most annoying kickers in the game, honestly. Ollie and Speed are both at 100%. There we go. That's a fucking born slide! Fuck! I can do a boneless and that gets me extra hype, but that like there's a 50-50 chance between doing a boneless and getting more hype or doing a boneless and just suddenly it's not fakey, I'm gonna go to You're not going to fucking there you go. Wasn't reverting. Yes, there we go. for score. So Tommy Tallarico, uh, you know, allegedly recorded that, that, that fucking Ollie sound. Oh my god. Choking. Yeah, I don't know what it is. I'm just nowhere near as good on this version as I was on, like, Dreamcast or Xbox. It feels like so much less consistent. I 
I'm dead. This song is so good. Yeah, boy. D. God, it's so slow. I think we're kind of okay, probably. Yeah. Easy. My, my pro score is, though. There we go. Yes. I think I can get the, I can get the sex score though. Bust. I got busted. Oh, damn it. Not mean to do a Madonna. Sometimes you just get hit by a bus. Fuck it, cut the cord. You know, we could do something really funny before I leave. Oh, maybe like 15, 20 more minutes before I have to go, but do something really funny. We could boot up Thrasher. Okay, no, you have three options. All right. We have like 20 minutes. I'm a little bit bored of Pro Skater 2. Let's do one of these. I have four options, actually.
All right, so we have Evolution Skateboarding, ESP and X Games Skateboarding, Three Extreme, or Thrasher Skate and Destroy. All of these are going to be funny to watch me try and play after playing Tony Hawk for months, but, you know, I think all of them could be a good option. We got two Thrasher votes, it seems like. I've not played Evolution Skateboarding before, or actually, actually I've never played any of these. But uh, X, uh, Evolution Skateboarding, I found out, is made by the same people who made the Disney Sports Skateboarding. Not Extreme Skate Adventure, but uh, Sports Skateboarding on uh, on GameCube. Yeah, a bunch of Thrasher votes, so let's go with Thrasher. I've actually not even played this yet, and I bought it a couple weeks ago, so I've been, I've been wanting to. Go ahead and pop it in. Turn my camera off, because my shorts are very short, and y'all aren't getting that show for free. Back. What if you donated more? <laughs> DM me. <laughs> I will take jokes further than you will, I promise. Don't play chicken with me. Wednesday, October 6th, 1999. Oh, the CGI. Oh, <laughs> the CGI. Oh, that was sick. Uh, does this game... Yes, analog. Cool. What's up, Alexander? I like the editing, it's pretty cool. Last stitch in the fucking train. Yeah, the video is pretty cool. I don't know if it's the same level as a uh, pro skater, but you know, it's still pretty cool. A lot of San Francisco shots, it looks like, to me. And NYC. Yeah. 
Oh, that's right, it's got original characters. Sure, we're Jasmine. Oh, hey, it's you. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, it's got we got tribe called quest in here. Oh, it's so chunky. Oh, sorry, that was a kickflip. Oh, it tells you what you're gonna do before you do it. So, like, I start the jump. I start the jump holding left on the D on the stick or the D-pad. And she doesn't start spinning until she's, like, falling. Ah! Uh. It's an X is to push. Where is Ollie? That's a 180. Kick flip. Okay, so all of my flip tricks seem to be on triangle. Sorry, shove it. No, a shove it. Where the board flips upside down. That's grabs. This is, um, this is something. Gotta say. Well, how do I, uh, grind? It's not the jump button, it's the, uh, it's the kick button. Oh, this is, this is something, y'all. <laughs> Well, no, apparently it's it's X. I don't think I don't think you auto grind because uh, let me see. No, you don't auto grind. It's uh it's it's the X button. Oh yeah, this is just a Jasmine skateboarding simulator. Now can I flip into a grind? I wonder. Yeah, you can. Oh, 
I want to land a flip in, flip out grind. That's my goal right now. I did it! See, having to not break your board is pretty interesting, actually. I, I like that. Oh, new song. Oh my god. Is that a health bar? You can't pick a flip trick without turning. So we were playing Pro Skater 2, but we decided to put on a, a little bit of Thrasher before I have to get off. Welcome to the stream, Paul. Sorry about the uh, bait and switch there. And we played Pro Skater 2 about an hour and a half, but I'm cutting off soon. I decided I wanted to try out a uh, Thrasher Skate and Destroy. The animations for the tricks are also wrong, because, like, look at this, this one. A shove it does not involve. What? So the shove it it just did. I see you, punk. You feeling lucky, punk? Oh, that's right. Cops come. I forgot about that. <laughs> I forgot about it. And we are back to Tribe Called Quest. I love this song. Another one would be cool. Are these the only two songs in the game? Just wondering. I can change song? Ow. Ah! For you dummies. I can't restart the fucking run either. here I can
Sorry, important text had to answer real quick. Alright, the cop's gonna show up in a sec. Yeah. Hey, kid! I want you to meet my little friend, Mr. Taser. You <laughs> punks think you're so smart. Huh. Here's your citation. Alright, try it again. I was kind of cooked. Oh no, this is the BMX Triple X, guys. Can I stream that on YouTube? I know I can't stream it on Twitch, but I wonder if it's allowed on YouTube. I mean, this is the exit. Yep. I have the Xbox version. I've earned a wall ride. Oh, they made a they made a aggressive inline as well. I have that as well. Okay, figure out one more level of this in me that I gotta dip. Ready for work. Oh, sponsor select. You only need one shoe, really, if you're just doing shabbats. That's not true. That would hurt very badly, I think. Oh god! I just realized they don't censor the music in this game. That's interesting. Not something I ever think about usually, but just noticed it.
Yeah, but Rockstar censored the music in their T-rated games after this. Like, uh, Midnight Club 3 was all censored. Ah, oh, thanks, video game. Thanks for spawning on the stairs. What's risky mean? Does it mean I just did it over something? Hello, extra thick. That is a very short train. Oh? I'm just surprised that, like, they, the ESRB let them have the N-word in, in songs in a T-rated game. I keep trying to push with X because that's how I push in fucking Skate. Or with a uh, Square, I should say. Dang dang diggity dang diggity dang. Dance one of the punks. I like that the uh <laughs> You've violated a bunch of laws. Here's your citation. Oh, I should have done that with fucking, uh, in the time to run. No, I, I just wanted to start that run again so I could... Ah, that classic style of shot. It's pretty good. There you go. Okay, now I'm gonna start the run here. Damn it! If I could land that properly... It's all good, I'm still learning the game myself. I really want a flying grind session. Last time I had it at work, I almost bought it, then someone bought it the day I was going to. Um, hopefully I'll get it soon.
Oh man. Ha 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 ha, DK Oldies, ha ha, I got it. Because they, their, their, their vulture is... I don't dig them. I'm sure you know that. I love their fucking video where they're like, the rarest games of all time, and it has like... I'm pretty sure it has a Pokemon game on it. Like, not Pokemon Box, even. It has like... Just stuff that's expensive. They, they conflated rare and expensive they knew that the, that the the high dollar values would shock people you better run you little reprobate I'm confiscating this board take the subway home Face. fuck I'd make the joke about that one statistic, Lauren, but I forgot what the number is. Alright, it is two o'clock, so I do need to dip soon. Let's finish this run. See what I can do. I thought so, Jasmine, but that's why I, that's why I was like, wasn't sure. So that, doesn't, that that's the other one. So surely not. It is interesting to play a skateboarding game where skating into a wall makes you fall over and not just like bounce off of it like in Tony Hawk. I see the delinquent. You're gonna get smacked. Okay. Five bucks is not bad for grind session, actually. Yep. Anyways, folks, I do need to dip. I got I gotta go to work today, but I will see you soon, hopefully, with a video upload and some more streams. Thanks for hanging out for those that did. Good to see you as always. But yeah, there you go.